we are given a binary tree and we need to find out all the root to leaf paths. We know that a binary tree is a tree in which each node can have at most two children. That is, each node can have at most a left child and a right child. In a tree, the topmost node or the node that doesn't have any parent is called the root node of the tree. And the bottommost node or the node that doesn't have any children is called the leaf node. We need to find out all the paths from the root node to the leaf nodes. For example, for this tree, we have the paths 125, 136 and 137. To solve this, what we can do is, we will first start the traversal from the root node. And also, during traversal, at each node, we will be recording the path we have taken. Now, from this node, we will check whether it's having a left node or a right node. Since it's having a left node, we will first continue the traversal in that path. Now, at this node, we do not have any left node, but we do have a right node. So, we will continue the traversal in that path. Now at this node, we neither have a left node nor a right node. That means we are currently at the leaf node and therefore we can stop the traversal and store the path to the result. Now coming back to node 1, we can now traverse through the right node. From this node, we can continue the traversal through the left node. At this node, we do not have any left or right node. That means we have reached the leaf node and therefore we can stop the traversal and store the path to the result. Now coming back to node 3, we can now traverse through the right node. At this node, we don't have any left or right node. That means we have reached a leaf node and therefore we can stop the traversal and store the path to the result. Finally, this is the list of all the paths from the root node to the leaf nodes. Now let's call the solution. We will create an array for storing the result and at last we will be returning it. For traversing through the tree, we will write a separate function. We will start the traversal from the root node and initially the path will be starting with the root node. Since it's given in the problem that there will be at least one node in the given tree, we don't have to put any null checks for the root node. Inside the function, we will check whether the current node has a left node. If it has a left node, then we will call the function recursively by passing the left node and adding the left node value to the path. Likewise, if the current node has a right node, we will call the function recursively by passing the right node and adding the right node value to the path. And at the beginning of the function, we must check whether the current node is a leaf node. If it neither have a left node nor a right node, then it's a leaf node. And therefore, we can store the path to the result and return from the function. Before adding the path to the result, we will join together the string elements with this arrow string. Now let's try running the program. It's working. See you in the next video.